Yeah, cheers, Porky. Cheers right back at you, mate. If I had an Orleans Gold, mate, I would be cracking it open as well. There you go. Amy Ball, Valka, hello. Guys, we're going to do some speed runs. Um, but I'm just going to get the first ad block out of the way, and then I'm going to, I'm going to start. Dang. I think, I mean, you know what? Maybe we should just jump straight into it. You guys want to just jump straight into it? Hey, Hannibal. Hey, uh, hello, Christian in the YouTube chat. Hey, got me. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, I reckon we just start. Sound good? All right. Excellent. Happy days. Thank you guys so much for joining me. We're just going to be heading downtown. Bum, bum. The unit is prepared, Finny, mate. The unit is prepared. I am ready to get among it. Yeah, why wait? Just get on it. Just get on it, mate. Just do it. Yeah, why wait? You know, why are we waiting, guys? You know, we got so many legends here in the in the chat. <laughs> Spanks. We've got so many legends here in the chat. Let's just get on with it. But uh g'day everyone in YouTube. Uh hope you guys are doing well. Um let's locally record the video game. Macro's running. Local recording. Good to go. Press the buttons. Uh, streamer, I saw... <laughs> okay, do I do it in that voice? I saw your review of Dragon's Dogma 2 on YouTube and I think you are wrong and you are a bad person and you would like the game more if you were just a better person. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> you read it in that voice when you read it. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's, it's so funny, guys. Rules. It's it's funny. It is. It's we good. It's good. It's good. Like I, you know, um, <laughs> someone I posted it on Steam because you know, look, you know, you just you just that's what you do, man. Right? You just post it on you post it on Steam on the uh, community hub, on the community hub, and um, someone replied. Actually, quite a few people replied to it. And there was a bit of a mix, you know, there was some people who were like, yeah, I see where you're coming from. And, and then there were people who di just immediately disagreed. Like, ha, you were filtered out of the game, unfortunately. And that depends on your perspective. But one person said, um, uh, they said something like, you have the most annoying voice in the world and you need to learn how to speak properly through your diaphragm and not through your nose. And I just read that. And I just started laughing. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. Uh, well, there was another one. Um, oh, I can't even remember. Like, I've literally already... I've it, Like, it made me laugh, but I've already forgotten what it was. But if it comes back to me, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat what they said. But, um, yeah, it's it, it's one of those things, guys. Oh, no, here's what it was. It was like, you... this Your opinions are wrong. And also, you posted a link to your live stream on the description box of your YouTube video. And that is such... A, that really says it all. It's like, uh, yes, I uh, imagine advertising your content on your content. 
I, I, of course I'm allowed to put a link to my Twitch stream on my fucking YouTube description box, mate. Look, what do you think? What year is this, mate? 1984? Anyway, that was that was really funny. But um, when new games come out, it, it I was I, like I literally was just laying there and I was just thinking about the game. And I was just uh, I was like, fuck, man, this game. It, it, like, is there really no one pointing any of this out? You know, is there no one who is talking about the things that are wrong with this game? And I just had I, and I was just thinking about everything that was wrong with it and it was inside my head and I just had to get it out there. So that's hey, what yeah. I did. You know, and you don't have to watch the video, or you can watch the video, and not, and you can disagree and agree. That's fine. I don't care. I am. I appreciate all comments. <laughs> Maynard, it's going to be huge. Moinka, hello. What is good, guys? Hello, welcome to the broadcast. Welcome to the broadcast. Someone had to stand up. Well, I, I, I kind of did a little bit more looking around after I posted my video, and because obviously I'm looking for uh, some sort of echo chamber effect, Dang. clearly. No, I'm just I was just looking for other perspectives on the game because um, it's really difficult to find criticism of Dragon's Dogma 2 at the moment because everyone is focusing on the microtransactions and on um, the performance, which, you know, yeah, sure, whatever. I, I, I kind of evaluated the game independently of those two things. The performance is not great. The MTX, I can, you know, that does not affect my ability to enjoy the game. Uh, but the problem with it is, is that it's just distracting from the real issues with the game, in my view. I feel like that game just has very dated gameplay and no one is pointing this out. So, you know, there is a channel that has stubbed their review of the game as a masterclass in open world design. And I just don't see it. I just don't see it. I don't understand how, I, how, how you arrive at that conclusion. So yeah, I, I just had to put my thoughts out there because I just didn't understand how people, thought, you know, how they received the game the way they did. It's more of, it's not, it, uh, for me, it's an, it's expressing myself, but it's also about trying to understand why people like that game. And I'm still playing it. I'm, I'm continuing to play it off stream. Um, I just think that, yeah, it's just a very dated game. It's just a very, very dated game. I feel like I'm playing an RPG that could have come out on, you know, the Xbox 360 or something. All right, fuck it. This guy's dead. All right, whatever. Come over here, please. Oh, the oh the bro, the bro, the bro. Do they not understand what words mean? I don't think so. Nah. It, it, I I really hope that they believe what they're saying. You know, I really hope that they believe what they're saying, Spanx, when they say that the game is a masterclass in open world design. Uh, and, and if they believe that, that's great. You know, like, I'm happy for them to believe that and enjoy the game to that effect. But I just don't see it. And I'm going to keep playing it. I'm going to get 20, 30 hours in, and I'm just looking for it. I'm looking for it. I'm prepared to be converted. But I just don't see it. Toru! I wish I was a big... A big baby... Hold on, wait, 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 wait. wait. I wish I was a big YouTuber because I could have been the only other person on the internet to grow a G-Man on Alan Wake 2. Make, you should make a video, man. Make a video and then you can have random people who uh, get very incensed in your comment section. Who then tell you that you're a bad person for posting a link to your Twitch channel on your own YouTube video. Alright. <laughs> I'm serious. Someone actually was like, um, wow, yeah, you just made a link to your t own Twitch channel on your own YouTube channel. How dare you promote your content on your content? It's not as good. I, look, I think if you like Dragon's Dogma 1, it's more of that. You know, I think I think if, if you like DD1 gig tigs, it's more of that. And you, you know, that's great. Like, that's awesome. But uh, it's just, I don't, I just find it really difficult to believe the hyperbole that some people have uh, sort of, put together when talking about how they feel about that game. Where is this last soldier at? I'm running out of ammo here, mate. What is... This game is so garbage. Oh, now he goes up there. Okay, this, this downtown's fucked, but whatever, I don't care. This, 
downtown is totally garbage. Dude, this... I, I, I'm actually going to reset, honestly. Okay, I won't reset. It's fine. Hey, Skimanski. What, uh, Dune Part 2? Nice, Maybe nice. it'll work on here, right? Maybe, Toru. Toru, with the 11 month resubscription. Thank you, Toru. Hey, yeah. Muchas, muchos gracias, or some Mexican words like that. Thank you so much. Legend. Uh, yeah, look, if you like DD1, you'll like DD2. It's just more of that, but it's also nothing new. Very, just very dated design. Yeah, the companion system. I feel like I already experienced a companion system like it, and it, it was in a game called Diablo 2, where you could hire a companion, and they just ran around and cast spells, and you could give them items to wear. <laughs> like, I didn't feel like there was that much depth to the companion system in DD2, and I could be just looking past all of the complexities and and you know ignoring things, but I just really didn't feel like that system was adding a lot to the gameplay experience. Yeah, but bro, you know, you don't understand. You can send your companion on missions with other players. It's just amazing. Okay. Sure. I, I still don't see the appeal. But it's just, you know, it's opinions. It's all subjective, mate. It's all subjective, mate. Yeah. If only you were a better person and you drove 80,000 Bugattis and you had you were more handsome and more charming you can understand i can see the appeal in the jank but um the jank is not gonna save it for me i'm afraid i am gonna have to chainsaw this dude now because i've messed up the ammo routing kind of tempted to reset. I lost half a minute in this level because downtown was fucked. Yeah, Hannibal, I, that's exactly my point of reference. So, there's two games that are my point of reference when I think about Dragon's Dogma 2. One of them is Baldur's Gate 3 for the way that you can interact with your the companions. And they're not even... They're more than companions. They're characters, right? Like, they're real well-developed characters with massive backstories and... A lot of interesting things going on there. And I know that DD2 and just Dragon's Dogma in general, the NPCs in your party are meant to be kind of like throwaway people who are just, they're pawns. Like that's literally the name of their they're pawns. You know, you, you are the Arisen and they, they're going to sizzle your sausage on command. They're pawns. You throw them away. But I like... I just don't... That, this is what I mean. This is my main thing about the game is it's dated. That sort of school of thought of having companions that are as deep as the kiddies pool at the local swim pool is just not gonna... just not gonna fly. People want characters that are gonna be in their party that mean something to them. And then you think about their impact in combat and their impact in combat is... Of course they have an impact. They'll imbue your weapons with some elemental damage or something like that. But it's kind of, it's just, you just set it and forget it. And then mechanically, there's nothing driving the combat that's coming from them. It's just automatically happening and just, you set it and forget it. So the combat is very shallow because of that. Yeah. And then you got to compare that with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, where the characters can, of course, be set up to do things automatically, but you can dynamically swap between them build up their ATB bars and get them to unleash attacks simultaneously by swapping control between them. And it's a lot more interactive and you're thinking more and you're making more decisions during the combat. That and the enemy variety in Dragon's Dogma 2 is really bad. It's so bad, man. There's just... You fight 80 billion goblins. And maybe a couple of harpies. Oh, really? It's... It's... uh Yeah, it, it's... Look, it's... Yeah. You know, look, if you enjoy it, like, I think that's great. I want people to enjoy enjoy games. Don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those kinds of people who are like, oh, you like a game that's design is dated. I like games that have dated design. I play heaps of old games, but... I don't... Those are, those are appropriate because they came out in, like, 1998 or something. Not 2024 by a AAA company. Milan, hello. How's your uh, Saturday going? 
Yeah, I, I don't understand the stamina combat, uh, out of combat thing either. It's a very, again, just a really antiquated design sensibility that has no place in ARPGs today. Like, uh, you know, it's all well and good to buck trends, but you've got to buck them in a good way. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So close to cracking the DLC on you in. Getting there. Nice, Toru. Uh, tag one. Tag one is tough. You'll get there. If you master that, you're good as gold. Can't complain. Um, all right. Yeah, this... Look, I've already lost half a minute on Hell on Earth, but um, that's okay. It's all good. It doesn't really matter. Early game doesn't matter. Well, it does, but it doesn't. Two for one special, aisle three. Yeah, Ultra Nightmare is the permadeath difficulty mode in this game. It is uh, a lot of fun to master. Very satisfying to complete, for sure. Which is what we're playing on now. Trying to save the blood punch for um, the Hell Knight next time we come through here because it's just so much faster killing that Hell Knight with the grenade and the blood punch. Yeah, I mean, Doom as a, as a series, Len, has always had really weird high difficulties. So OG Doom, you had Nightmare Mode, which was basically ultra-violence, except enemies respawned. So you kind of needed to get through the level being uh, as efficient as possible. You don't want to, like, backtrack or anything like that. And then Doom 3 was you your health decreases constantly, and the only way to get health back is to use the the cube to kill enemies. That was the only way to get health back. Otherwise, it just constantly ticked down. And then Doom 2016 and and this have the permadeath difficulty mode. And I totally butchered that, right? And it was still way faster than how I used to do it. Like, I didn't even have full auto equipped. Still deleted him. Permadeath is way better than the other hard gimmicks. Yeah, I tend to agree. I tend to agree. It's It really shows your ability to master the game more generally. Whereas the other difficulty modes are kind of like, okay, you get really good at playing a certain way. You know, OG Doom, it's learn the speedrun route. Learn the speedrun route and you'll have to kill as few enemies as possible and you'll get through the level as quickly as possible. Doom, Doom 3 is definitely unique, but I, I don't think it's as fun as, as this game's highest difficulty mode. Uh, yes, yeah, I picked up Bigger Boom, so we're we'll, all we'll Gucci there. Good. Oni, dude, what's going on? Doing any hell diving tonight, mate? to make sure. Uh, yeah. So these games, yeah, they've always had really... Well, the only exception I can really think of is Doom 64. Oh, and the bot's not running? I'll fix it after this level. I kind of just went live. I didn't really do all my normal checks and shit. Really broke. Please. Yeah, um, yeah, Doom 64. Doom 64 doesn't have any kind of gimmicky hard mode, so. Oh, you get the cube at the start of the game on nightmare mode. The game just gives it to you. It's kind of, it's, it's like almost new game plus-ish in that respect, but it's, it's really not. It's, it, it's just, they just give you that item. Uh, the cube gives you health. It's the only way to get health on the hardest difficulty mode in uh, right. 
Doom 60, uh, Doom, Doom 3. Almost called it Doom, six, uh, Doom 64. Yeah, now I have to wait. Very funny game. Ingram! Mate, what's going on? I was watching you do a few uh, Stalker uh, speed runs yesterday. Nice, clean on the fodder on the way out. Oh, shit. It's the infamous Salami Man. What is good, mate? Disaster on the runs. I'm going to be honest. I don't Dang. even know the run well enough to know what is a disaster and what isn't. I just enjoy watching you run like a madman, loot like a madman, and shoot like a madman trying to get through it. Quick saving and quick loading as you go. Crazy, crazy speed run. Good day. Like, really hey, fast yeah. speed run as well. Yeah. Nanny, hello, man. What's going on, big huge? Rocking him. Am I ready? Uh, I, well, I mean, do I need to do anything specifically to prepare, man? I think I'm ready to run. Why does shooting a sticky bomb... Uh, I'm not going to ask any questions, actually. Yeah, that works. Uh, this is the first run of the day, although it's kind of a bad run and I shouldn't continue it, but I'm going to continue it anyway. For that exact reason right there. Beautiful. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go, man. Yeah, it's all about the that. You've got to aim right on the turret in the exact right spot. Really got to aim at the turret properly. Otherwise, it just won't work. Sorry, the bot's not running at the moment. I'll turn it on when I get to... Um, I'll turn it on when I get to a loading screen. My bad. Please, 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 please. Drop, drop, drop. Okay, all that time saved from doing that skip is now gone. Because this game is funny. Alright, we get to keep listening to Meathawk, so that's kind of cool. Don't think you've seen that skip done in a run yet? Yeah, it's it's a good skip. It saves uh, about 25 seconds. There you go. We are so far behind, though, right wow. now. Hi, Exo. Hello. Uh, hi, bye, mate. But I will, I will keep going, even though this run's a disaster. Yeah. Yeah. Why did this guy just spawn here? Oh, I hate this game. Alright, yeah, I, look, I, I should just reset at this point. I really should. Like, I'm really just not, not feeling this. Hello? Uh, how do you jump skip after cutscenes? You, you have to dash right as the cutscene starts to transition. So, you, like, you know how when a cutscene starts in this game, there is, like, it fades to black and then it starts playing the cutscene? You just got to dash as it fades to black. That's all you got to do. That's all you've got to do in this game. Yeah, all right. Well, there was a lot to like about this Exaltia. I mean, the split's technically not over, but 
There was a lot to like about this, but uh, I think I am really, really, really far behind. Yeah, obviously I don't really understand um, how, you, how you're meant to use that portal to go back to the, the other part of the island. No, you're a disaster. It's not what your mum said. Trips, what's going on? I'm starting the bot. It's loading, mate. It's loading. And the wall boost in this. Fucking good. Open. Yeah, have a quick drink. Hello, Nantroll YouTube chat. Uh, Ken, hello. get that elevator wall boost every single time but I've obviously just completely forgotten how to do it there's no other logical explanation it just went in went in one part of my brain stayed there for a bit and then left I'm out of brine cells. Too much speed running in this game, I reckon. Depleted my brine cell count with great haste. I mean, who needs brine cells anyway, man? Brian Schmeyer. Mm. Imagine if whenever you were thinking of something, it was you heard it in Brian's voice in your head. Yeah, it's a good thing that that split is really bad in this PB. Hmm. All right. Um. Yeah, whatever. Yolo. Yolo swaggins, Bilbo baggins. Chat's getting all serious. Bro actually got to the third level. Time to get serious. Try for the lols, but you just kept saying Nard Burger. Oh, you, Canard Burr. Canard Burr. Canard Burr. I'm still, I'm just waiting for the day someone tells me that I want every game to be like Doom Eternal. Then I know I've made it. I've made it to the Mayo level. You know, in terms of reviewing video games and having opinions about games. Then I've made it. I've truly made it. You just want every game to be like Doom Eternal. Well, I mean, yeah, of course. Because Doom Eternal is a well-designed video game. The combat is amazing. And the enemy design is fantastic. Of course I'd want every game to be like this game. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> In its own special ways, of course. Incredibly well optimized, yes. Insanely well optimized. Such a good looking game. It runs 
Oh my goodness. Yeah. True, every game needs a defensive powerhouse. That actually is also an offensive powerhouse. Like, why would you build one enemy that is really strong at defense and a different enemy that's really strong at offense? Just put the, put just put both roles in the same enemy. Okay. Jester, hello. How you doing? adapting they're growing smarter chat the demons are starting to use the pillars as cover to avoid getting sniped onion aerospace hello it's just it's just practice Gabanski. just keep practicing man i'd like that's literally how it was for me just, just you know you try to you try to start doing it and it, it feels weird and then you know you get better at it it's just a matter of time Can you stop moving? Like, that'd be really good. Just, just stop, just stop, just stop, just stop, just stop. How is Dragon's, how is Dragon's Dogma? Look, it's, it's, I can appreciate the design uh, eccentricities and why that might appeal to some people, but I'm still trying to find the fun zone, mate. I'm still trying to find the fun zone of that game. I'm struggling, though. But I'll keep playing it offline. Yeah, look, yeah. Look, the jank in that game is absolutely hilarious. 100%. But a lot of people are calling it something that it's not. And that really bothers me. It, 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 like, other people's opinions don't bother me, but when it's other opinions who then convince lots of people that that is what a good video game looks like, that bothers me a bit. A good video game does not look like something that could have come out on the, uh, like, and by and by look, I mean run, like, designed like something that could have come out on the Xbox 360, um, however long ago that console was a thing. Just, just like a very, uh, just a very dated game. And I love dated dated video games, but not not in the year of 2024, and not not developed in the year of 2024, and not by a AAA developer. But I'll keep playing it. I might find the fun zone, and then I'll be like, I'll make a YouTube video. I was so wrong about Dragon's Dogma, and all these people will be like, Yeah, bro, you were wrong, and I agree with you. I agreed with you then, and I agree with you now. Ah, oh, fuck, I fucked this up completely. <laughs> Dude, two doll hairs. <laughs> you heard the game is also really greedy? Ah, uh, well, well, I'll talk a little bit about a concrete scenario in a moment, but I could be reading into things way too much, but... The, 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 you could justify it either way, and but the, the, the way it was done was really weird. I think if they'd just been upfront about it, people would have been a lot more okay with it. But the way that they went about it was honestly just so strange. Like, in, in summary, the MTX was dropped and it added to the game on the day of release. Hey, good luck, Toru. You're going to get it, mate. You're going to get it. Trust me. I believe, mate. I believe. 
Keeps moving and grooving. And naught can go wrong, my friend. Just moving and grooving and moving. Get that PB Ballista primed for Sama. Damn it. A little bit slow. Um, yeah, so even the reviewers of the game had no idea, right? They reviewed the game, said what they thought about the game, which is good and bad because um, it means that their review is not coloured by the microtransactions. They can just talk about how the game functions in its absence, which is kind of a good thing, but also it hides that information from people. And they had no idea either, like, like all of them. Anyone who had a review code did not know that MTX was going to be a thing, but... At the same time, I think it was pretty much ex pretty much expected, considering that uh, Capcom is uh, adding DLC MTX to all of their games. You know, they did it for uh, Village and Resident Evil 4 Remake. Like, basically every recent game they've made that's been big has MTX slash DLC. I mean, they were the fucking people who made it so that you could buy a Street Fighter game and the content was on the disc, but you had to pay extra to unlock it. Like, let's not forget that. That was a, that was like 10 years ago now, but like they did that. So it's part of their business practices. But uh, the fact that they, like, they just need to be more transparent. Don't, don't, don't release, get the game to reviewers in this state and then just suddenly attach DLC to it. It's weird. And the reason people didn't kick up a big fuss about it for RE4 was, um, you know, that, like, that's a very different type of game. And also, it was a very good game, right? Whereas a lot of the DLC for uh, DD2, or not a lot, but there are certain DLC items that really do enhance the quality of life in that game. You know, the fast travel stuff is, is pretty big, right? Being able to hire better pawns that are a higher level than you, like... These are kind of borderline predatory MTX practices that are really just strange. I don't want to do that. Hey, goody. Yeah, the lack of 60 FPS on uh, PS5 is uh, a bit disappointing. Uh, look, you know, that engine is... Th th that engine was built for games that take place in uh, indoor areas with highly detailed indoor geometry, but you that are built using photogrammetry. You know, that, like, taking that engine and trying to use it for that kind of purpose is like, you know, you're going to start to push the boundaries of what that engine was built to do. And I know it's been iterated a lot on since RE7, but that's, that was what it was made for back then. Really detailed indoor areas. Fucking hell. I should have made it $2 to respawn. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I just chainsawed this thing. Anyway, yeah, I'll, uh, once I get to the end of this level, I just want to run you guys through uh, an example in the game that really made me think about the way that they've designed some of their quests and in a moment where I thought that a fast travel item at DLC would be quite convenient at that particular point. Not that, of course, not that I would have purchased it, but it would have been inconvenient. Yeah, DMC5, another one. Like, I love Capcom, guys. You know, they make, like, they made some of my favorite games ever. But, yeah, they're, they're, some of their business practices are, like, really dodgy. Like, majorly dodgy.
and I would really do, uh, look if you they, if they have to make Dragon's Dogma 2 with 80 billion ways to monetize the game to suck more money out of the players just so that they can pay to make games like Resident Evil 4 Remake I'm like I'm actually fine with it I literally don't care uh, but I still think it, it doesn't redeem the fact and it doesn't make it not scummy you know I love Resident Evil 4 Remake I love RE2 Remake I still love the OG Resident Evils but yeah, it's, it is pretty concerning, their business practices. Yeah, it's over a hundred bucks here in Australia. It is kind of insane, the money that they want for that game. I think I did. Now he is. <sighs> hey, Yui Busker. I do not fear you. This you can, yeah, 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 you can acquire it with in-game currency. Like, like, like he, he, okay, guys. Like, let's not get distracted by talking about this shit. Okay, it, it's yes. The point that I was trying to make is the specific societies that Capcom's businesses pra business practices are really fucking weird, and they have been for a long time. The, the my issue with the game is just the design feels really dated. Really, really dated. Like, I had twelve years to try and, you know change the game or do something different with it and it feels exactly like DD1 and that, that's awesome for people who like DD1 that's great I get to play more of that G'day. oh mate you are really causing a lot of trouble right now Mr. Revenant What's up, mate? I'm glad you enjoyed. Whoa, holy shit, dude. What the fuck was that? Okay, that was weird. I got heaps of height because I did it during the transition, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still playing the game and I can definitely see the charm, Sib. Like, and please don't know. If you like watch that video and you're like, Devo, why are you sledging a game I love? Like, please don't take it that way. I just had to get it. I just had to express myself, you know, just to get it out there. But if you like the game, that's fucking awesome. Like, I am jealous that you like it because that's a new game. And you can just, you know, have a good weekend and enjoy it for hundreds of hours. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, no, that's really good. There's no button attached to that. That's just good. Oh man, that is awesome. Water. Wilder. Actually, I just I actually totally forgot to menu this in. But um, also, you know, if I'm wrong, definitely tell me. I, I had someone correct me in the comments that uh, pawns do point out things on the map. You get a map marker when they see a chest. I still don't know how it works because I actually went back and played the game a bit and I had a pawn say that there was a chest nearby and I still couldn't see it. But, you know, I'm obviously... Uh, Obviously, I'm like just uh, an uh, incapable blunder from down under, you know? Uh, just, I'd be, I'd be big and I'll need no idea what I'm doing. Oh, shit, Stampede. Thank you so much for the raid. Should get a shout out for Stampede G. Absolute champion and stallion. What is going on, mate? How was the stream stream? Hope it was good. You've come, at a, you've come to the right place if you're looking for some constipation, emotional and otherwise. We are in the middle of a Doom Eternal 100% speedrun. 
R7 Madhouse. Oh, yes. I love to hear it. Fucking awesome game. Love me some RE7. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the boat, but I, I love that game. Really good game. Uh, did you do a whole run? Uh, this is the, the first run of the day. It's a bit average, but uh, I'm just going to keep it going. I think it's probably better to just keep the run going than throwing it away for, you know, whatever reason. Please don't touch me. Oh my goodness. No, oh, just get up. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh, that was good. That was that was all right, actually. Last arachnotron was a bit weird, but um, that pretty good. Bam, 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 bam. Hey, sick boy. This is the type of shit your dad, granddad went to to get to school. Yeah, mate. I had to get on me bloody horse at fucking quarter to five in the morning, right after milking the cows with the old man. And then I had to go to school. We had to ride the horse through the fucking river. The river was 800 miles wide. My goodness. Uphill with 500 kilos of ba books in my bag on my back. God damn. Your granddad was just living the hashtag Sigma hustle grind culture 400 years before TikTok even came out. What a champion. All right. Drop the frame rate. Just put the shield away, bro. Ah, shit. I'm going to have to do this from here, aren't I? I feel like I'm doing this swap ever so slightly too early. Because I always seem to get the animation there. All right. Uh, yeah, guys, welcome in from Stampede's stream. Hope you guys had fun. My name's Devo. I'm from Australia. And I am currently speedrunning some Doom Eternal. So in this speed run, we do every single thing that's tracked by the game in a single playthrough on the hardest difficulty. So if you want to see some uh, memes, trust me, you've come to the right place. All right, just got to wait for this door to turn green. There we go. Stampede with the race, the raid and the resub. I mean, what have I done to deserve this kind, kind gesture, man? Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it, man. Doing the world tour here, guys. Killing all the demons, doing all the things and all the stuff. All right, there we go. Push the button. Let's go, Toru. Show Sam and what you're all about. Burn, hello. Brass chaos, g'day. Demons. Everywhere. Rip and tear until it is done. Rip and tear Toru until it is done. Alright, a little bit short on that one. Again, a little bit short on that one. There we go. Hey, Sib, did you like the bit where I was just shooting arrows right into that uh, uh, bloody Cyclops' crotch? Like, just over and over and over? That was probably... I was. I just didn't even realise what I, what I was doing until I watched the video. I was like, oh, shit. Sorry, man. I shouldn't have done that. That was a bit rude. <gasps> oh, shit. No! Oh, rip. That's okay. It's not the end of the world, but it's not great. Yeah, I'm not hitting that jump on that ramp right because I what end up ha what ends up happening is I like the du the double jump gets eaten on the ramp and I need to hold onto it so I can get just like 
a little bit of extra distance out of the uh out of the yeet if this is the first time you're seeing this game guys uh i assure you this is not how it's meant to be played in fact according to uh youtubers this game is not meant to be played on this difficulty okay it's true It's, it is true. Okay, look, whether I don't think the actual facts are true, but they definitely the fact that they said it is true. Big difference. Ah, oh, shit, I jumped way too early then. Not that it really matters. It kind of works out anyway. Because the laser wall comes down, and then you get the yeet hook in time anyway to yeet hook off of the... Uh... Love it. Anyway, uh, carrying on. Oh, shit, I was going to talk about a very concrete example of some weird shit that happened to me in DD2, which seems really odd. Uh, okay, this is a bit weird. Actually, oh, damn it. I really wanted to glory kill that thing. Okay, it's fine. I'm, not, I'm just not going to have blood punch for the uh, Doom Hunter. That's okay. It's fine. It's really not, but it's fine. This game was never meant to be played on Ultra Nightmare, and this video is fake. Stop the count right now. Welcome to Slayer. Okay, I am not very happy with how this is going, I'm not gonna lie. Don't hit me, please. Thank you. Goodbye. That was a really bad first phase. Double sled. Double sled. Double sled. The, this mouse like I like it but fuck the, the click the click on the buttons is so light can you not yeah dude this strat is so much better it's so much better so much safer so much easier to do the double sled is the way to go even though I didn't have blood punch for the start of that oh love it cheeky little wall boost grab the B lister Eat his hole. I must survive this. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Much appreciated. Yeah. So anyway, I did. I started doing this quest in Dragon's uh, Dogma 2 where I needed to deliver a letter from the capital city to this small town. And I could get to the small town by taking an, an ox cart. And the ox cart basically is a form of fast travel. Just takes you straight there. Cool. All right. Awesome. Get there. Deliver this letter to this dude. And then he gives me another quest to go and destroy this nest of saur things called saurians. They're like these uh, lizard humanoid enemies. Because I've set up a nest near the town and he wants me to get rid of it. I'm like, all right, cool. So I go over there. I kill the saurians. I kill the saurians. And then I walk back to town. And then he gives me a follow-up objective to go straight back to the nest and throw a poison jar at the nest. I'm like, couldn't we have just done this at the same time or something? But the poison nest, I don't... I'm pretty sure it wasn't there on the first part of the quest where I just had to kill the Saurians. So then I go back and I throw the pot at the nest and then I walk back to town and then I hand the quest in. And I'm at the time, at the time, I'm thinking, why could this dude just not have come with me to throw the poison thing at the nest? There's no reason he needed to be here, to be in this town. He could have come with me and I could have just turn it in straight away. Like, okay, look, that's fine, whatever. I did the quest, and I'm thinking to myself, 
oh, the next quest, and the game tells you this, the next quest you have to do is to go back to uh, the, the letter deliverer guy to tell him at the capital city that you delivered the letter. And I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I can just get in the ox cart and go back to the capital city. So I go to the ox cart, and then the guy's like, no, nah, the ox cart only leaves at the start of the day, so come back later. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, in the capital city, there was a little bench I could sit on to pass time. In Melv, this town, I couldn't find the bench to sit on. So I was like, all right, uh, that really sucks because now I basically have to walk back to the capital city. But then I was like, okay, well, I could, maybe I could go to the inn and maybe I can just pass time at the inn. I don't have to stay at the inn. I can just pass time there because all my party members are healed up. Why would I need to do that? So I go back to the inn. There's no option to rest at the inn. Uh, there's no option to tr pass time at the inn. You can only stay the night for 1,500 Gs. All right. Uh, okay, look, let's just turn lemons into lemonade. I still have a quest here in this area from way back when. Because and I knew that because the loading screen told me I'd do it. I'd talk to this guy called Baron about giving him some weapons and giving him some candidates for some trainees for military training or something like that. So I went to the map. All right, where is this guy? Moon Moon Glow Garden or something? Walk back to Moon Glow Garden. He's not even there. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> sure. I I understand that. Sometimes in RPGs, when other things happen, characters move to different locations. Whatever. A lot of people complained about this in Elden Ring, and I get it. They asked to, the game to have a guide and check markers and a journal and shit, and I'm like, if you're going to have it in your game, can it, I, and you're going to tell me to go to a certain place on the map, can it, can it at least be accurate and correct instead of showing me that there's a character in this place, and then I go there and he actually isn't there? And I was just stuck in the middle of nowhere. I'm thinking to myself, fuck. Do I go to the, do, do I buy a fast travel for however much it costs? Like, fuck, th like, this game has actually completely fucked me. I'm, I'm literally stuck in this place and I just got to walk around and kill more goblins. And I've already killed 4,000 goblins. All because I needed to blow up this nest. Hmm. So anyway, that was my story. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Let's go and blow up a real nest. Ugh. Yeah, I know. Game's just fucking weird. Literally, oh, there you are. And then you know what? The Saurians are an endangered species. <laughs> Deep and emotional and gripping storytelling in that game? I don't think so. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think that there are moral greys in that video game trips, unfortunately, mate. The only moral greys are the Capcom business practices, mate. Gira, hello. How you doing? Yeah, look, the most fun I had in that game, uh, Skibansky, honestly, 
was just keep throwing people off of cliffs. That was the most fun I had in that game. It really... That should definitely not be the most fun thing about your game. That should not... That should not be the most... That shouldn't be the thing that players go, oh, that was really fun in that game, was just picking up random NPCs and throwing them off of cliffs because, you know, someone can make a game use, with that gameplay loop in Unity in about 0.5 seconds. Should not be the main thing you walk away from remembering. I uh, don't know what happened there. BRB. Son of a bitch! Against all the evil that hell can conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. I actually, I could not even find the carcasses then. I literally couldn't find... Well, I couldn't find the second one, and then actually he was right in front of me. And then I died. Alright, let's get serious. to hell on earth back to Helen Yeah, this is this is the first run. You just tuned in at just the right time, Aaron. Just the right time. I uh, actually, uh, this is the second run of the day. Got to SGN, but uh, got gibbered by the carcasses in the quarter quarter arena of a million canal. Gibbered. close to being perfect <laughs> Borpa spin the perfect emoji to go with carcasses so I could have swore he just used the grenade attack just then all right oh good <clears throat> Nearly good RNG with that soldier, just he was slightly a little too far forward. Uh, in the chapel. Nice. That, that run was kind of uh, a bit of a disaster. Exaltia, full Slayer's Gate. Um, oh, although I did get the Bieber skip, so that was kind of nice. 
There were some, definitely some good things in the Exalteon. CB was average. Nothing special there. And DHB was kind of a... Uh, it was all right until DH until the Doom Hunter fight. Then it was meh. Very, very nice. Let's keep it going. Oh, cheers, Ghost to Margio. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. It was a bit of fun. I, that video took me about 15 minutes to make. I just, I didn't write a script. I just, I just talked. I just literally just, I had to get some shit off my chest. You know, like, yeah, I'm, I'm figuratively speaking, obviously. Bip, bip, bip. Uh, no, no, I don't really get weird frame pacing in gates. There's some places where I do, though. Um, like, I think maybe an arc. Maybe, I want to say. Yeah, there's definitely some weird performance sometimes with this game. Holy fuck, speaking of weird performance. That guy just did a giant ballerina flip through the air. It was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Ah, uh, actually. Yeah. yeah, sure, why not? Let's start trying to route this in, I guess. That's weird. Yeah, that's really strange, dude. No, I, I can't say I have any problems like that. I just get like uh, very strange frame rates. Okay, that was really interesting. I've never done that route before. She is inside that, demonic citadel. that was, yeah, yeah it was new. On your hunt. The gathering of health priests is located just above your location. My scans indicate yeah, I still don't really know how to route the ammo. Yeah, that was a mama fro moment. I, I just don't know how to route the ammo properly for the last bit there, because I'm, oh, I'm really feeling, I think I only had six shells or something for the last pack. I got super lucky though because the two imps were on the soldier. So it was easy peasy. Uh, this is probably going to gold, by the way. And if it golds and this actually turns into a full run that I can submit, I am not going to run this category for a very, very long time because I will come back and I'll be like two whole minutes behind after Hell on Earth. <laughs> Won't keep 250 one day the next. Uh. Have you, uh. When was the last time you redid your thermals, pay 87? Could be that, I don't know. That was a very optimal hoe. Like, an exceedingly optimal hoe. What will I play when I'm done with this? Um. Probably Wolf 2, actually. I'll probably try and get mine Lieben done, I think, in that game. I don't know why I just did this route, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Either, either I'll do uh, mine Lieben in Wolfenstein, the new Colossus, or um, I'm going to try and speedrun Protease Horde Mode 1. Try to get a time that I can submit to speedrun.com. Uh, got you pay 87. Well, I hope you work out whatever it is, man. And then you can get back to having the performance that you are, uh, you should be getting. Apology. Apology. Apology! Yeah, Preds, don't worry. I've got my whole content 
team working on a video about how I was so wrong about Dragon's Dogma 2. <laughs> We're already working on thumbnails. And I'm going to have to make an apology video for all the people that I upset. Cry for me, streamer. Your voice sounds terrible. You need to learn how to speak. How dare you put a link to your Twitch stream in the description box of your own YouTube video. I'm appalled. Oh, red arrows. Yeah, red arrows and big McDonald's red and gold font colors. Uh, added, a, added grab. Yeah. Uh, don't blood punch the spider. make an apology video <laughs> it's like yeah guys i you know beckler I, I really found it i found the fun zone of dragon's dogma it just involves sacrificing every single npc in this game into the brine oh yeah i heard uh like honestly mixed things about alone in the dark but um i heard that it gets the basics right which is awesome and it's not a long fucking game. It's like eight hours first playthrough. And I'm down for that. I'm so tired of games that just go for hours and hours and hours. Nice. Yeah, dude, the full auto blood punch there is just cracked. It kills that Hell Knight so fast. Fuck oh, hell. Oh, you crashed? Well, the save will still be there. You can you can keep going. Keep going. So it'll still be there. It'll boot up from a checkpoint. Oh my goodness. So fabulous in the house. Yo, love the video upload. Oh, thank you, mate. I had to express myself, man. You know, the fact people liked it uh, just is the cherry on top of the cake. You know what I mean? Shit. You're still fabulous to me, Joe. You are always fabulous, man. This guy. What's that zombie doing thinking he can go that way? Oh, thank you, Joe. Someone had to do it. Someone had to rant about something other than the microtransactions and the performance. Although I had to point out that at the end of the video, I had to crop the FPS counter and zoom it in a bit because... I don't think I've seen a game get 28 frames per second on my computer ever. 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 That was special. 28 frames per second. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, both... Well, like... It, it's... it's For me, it's like... Okay, it's 50-50. The, the MTX, the way that they're put together themselves is bad, and the way they were revealed to the player base was bad. You know? Oh my god. It's like I've never played a video game before, you know? Can you just shoot the fucking... Whoa, what the fuck's going on with this turret? Okay, now I have to glory kill this guy because I need the health. It's bad because none of the reviewers knew about it. Where is that other soldier? None of the reviewers knew about it. You know, they just... They literally didn't have, a, have visibility of that until much later on. Go, dude. Man, that gargoyle. Man was built differently. Holy shit.
I kind of half expected it, considering the way that they had um, set up MTX for uh, Resident Evil 4, uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake and Village. Like, I was just like, okay, but like, you know, there's going to be MTX. It's, it's Capcom. But I think just the way that it's, it works in a game like that, it is, it can be a little bit more predatory because it's, it, they tend, the, the, the way that the MTX works in that game is it's very quality of life just because of the nature of the game. You know, you, 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 you buy some DLC for RE4R and it gives you some extra healing items, you know? Oh, second run in a row getting this skip. Let's go. That's sick. You know, it, it's... Yeah, it's going to make some, like, one specific part of the game easier. Having that, that extra heal or that more powerful weapon. But it's not like Dragon's Dogma 2 where the MTX is... You can save yourself 20, 30 minutes, whatever it is, however far you need to walk slash travel by just using fast travel, like a more flexible fast travel system. And, and maybe I'm exaggerating, I don't understand the particulars of it, but, you know, the, 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 the way that it ends up working in a game like that is, yeah, way dodgier. need to shoot. Holy fucking shit. I love doing this whole Slayer's Gate, guys. I really do. I don't think you understand. Like, I actually just love it so much. I love doing all the combat in it. I think it's just perfect in every way, and I wouldn't want to skip a single demon in it. said yesterday that you were going to stream Dragon's Dogma and this is not Dragon's Dogma. Okay, um, I understand what you, you know, you are such a liar and a cheat and a, and a scam artist and I am unsubscribing and unfollowing from this channel right now. You're a bad person. <laughs> Hello, Rich. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> oh, I might play it later. <laughs> I might play it later. Maybe just for the memes, mate. CK, walk, welcome in. How you doing? The extraction point has been identified. Oh, man. All right. Uh, I've got two chains also. We're probably going to do this route, I think. It's not bad. Look, it would have been nice to be low 17 with a fast layers gate, but this is basically excellent. Uh, this is the second run of the day. Second run of the day, mate. Yeah, second run of the day. So, yeah, no, it's been good. I'm thoroughly warmed up after that first run. Got to, uh, what was it, SGN? 
and then kind of messed up Vermilion Canal, so got gibbered by the carks. Couldn't find them, but yeah. We are back in the fortress. We got a good time save in the early game, which I have been struggling to get lately, so please don't do this. Thank you. Doom Eternal is a video game, guys. It has elevators. And if you watch Arrhythmia, it has elevator music. How about that? Yeah, the Hell on Earth was really good, dude. It was good. It was real nice. Fucking hell. going so quick oh my god whoa this guy's cheating whoa there he goes again more cheating oh my god this guy's out of control someone needs to stop this man right now yeah man doom is about killing demons and you are not killing all the demons please reset right now <laughs> Did I tell you guys that someone complained about me putting a link to my Twitch stream on my own YouTube video? Isn't that amazing? How dare you? I'm offended that you would promote your content on your content. <laughs> People make me laugh, mate. <laughs> it's so funny dude What's it? it's just funny to me rich like it's hilarious man people will come up with some really like warped reasons to find your opinion to be ridiculous applying it in please oh nice that's that's exciting good luck all the best i wish you uh yeah i hope you hope you get it i hope you get it man hey venom uh, I, look, guys, I'll probably play the game later. It's fine, you know, like... Well, uh... Yeah, no joke, someone actually complained. But, you know, people, uh... People will find any way to discredit you. And that's fine, you know, they're allowed... I'm allowed to have an opinion, apparently. Unfortunately for them, I'm allowed. And they're also allowed. And, uh, part of the reason I'm making that video is to get people to make comments on my content and interact with me and give me free views and... And, uh, you know, what the, the best kind of views are hate views, let's be honest, guys. On YouTube, anyway. Did you pull that comment? Uh, it's on my no, no. It's on it's on Steam, and I, I, like I, I don't think I can moderate anything on Steam. I can't even reply to them. I can't even reply to them, Tall Shade, because if I could, if I could, I would um, I would say um, oh, so I'll see you there, you know, like oh, I'll see you in the chat, but I can't even do that. So it's unfortunate. How is that guy back in the back there alive? A bit confusing. Dreamer, technically the under you don't. Yeah, yeah, true, Ari. It's actually I'm not doing the real 100% category, so I'm going to create my own category, and I'm going to run that, and I will become the world record holder in that category. And while I'm at it, I'm go I'm really tired of all of you guys cheating, all right? You know, air control, frost bomb, uh, chain gun shield. It's just all cheating, and you should feel bad about it. So I'm going to create my own speedrun categories from now on, and I'm just going to compete against myself. And I'm um, kind of getting me shit pushed in here, so just hold on. Um, I'm going to create one. It's going to be called No Chain Gun Shield. No, and there's going to be another one. It's going to be called No Air Control. And another one called No Frost Bomb. 
and I'm going to do a run where I don't use any of those things, like all three of them, and I'm going to submit one run, and I'm going to become a world record holder, a three times world, the champ, 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 overnight. That really hurt. Ooh. I'll be the champ, champ, champ of Doom Eternal. No one can stop me. Scoobansky in the YouTube chat. Thank you, mate. Thank you so much. I'm just some guy, man. It's true, please, I do. I'm a, a huge, I'm a known cheater. Like, I'm surprised that Carl Jobs hasn't done a video about me yet. With the level of cheating that I implement into every single run I do of this game. Uh, how did you make the, the lock-on go so fast? Uh, this is cheating. My dad works at Doom, and that's ridiculous. You're not allowed to do that. Report me to the intel. <laughs> hey, Ari. <laughs> <laughs> One of the first reviews I read of Dragon's Dogma 2 on Steam was from this poor guy who was just trying to help people and he was trying to install the game on multiple devices, namely on Linux and on Steam Deck. And because De Nuvo detected that he was trying to install the game on multiple systems, it actually just totally bricked his license. <laughs> he was trying to be helpful and be like, oh, you know, yeah, like, you can run it on Steam Deck if you want, I guess. And then, you know, it just bricked his license. <laughs> oh, it's so good, man. Here at Capcom, we've got the consumer first and foremost. So that's, that's why we're adding MTX on the day of release after the review embargo has been lifted. Well, truly after it's been lifted, obviously. And we're going to have the most pervasive DRM possible to give you the best experience possible as a paying customer. Definitely, please do not pirate the cracked version of the game, which will probably have way better performance. Uh, microtransaction. Microtransaction. Good, but whatever, we'll work with it. Oh, yep. That is not the grenade that I wanted to have, but... Fine. Bit awkward. And... Dane! Oh, God. How did Maynard... What did Maynard say that day when he was really drunk? Dane, wait! <laughs> oh, incredible, incredible moment. I'm sorry to hear that, Tori. Look, if it's any consolation, I'm sorry. But also, when Tag 1 came out the very night, I was just like, I'm going to do Ultra Nightmare Blind. And I got to that exact moment, and I also bit the dust, mate. Dust yourself off. Get back in there. Have another go. Have another go. No! Dane, just hang on. Just wait. I don't know. I'm trying to impersonate Drunk Maynard. I'm not doing a very good job. I just sound like a seven foot tall male going through puberty. Which basically doesn't sound like him at all. If you had a crouch button, you would have made that. 
Look, if you just practiced the Wim Hof method for 400 hours every morning, you would have made that. Good shit, Toru. Get in there. Get in there, Mort. You know, it's funny, Rich. Every time I go back to Doom 2016, it takes me until I get to uh, ResOps to remember that there's a crouch button in that game. Yeah, if you just stuck to the 3am cold punches, you would have made it. Oh, man. If you just did the carnivore diet, you could have made it. If you just ate 400 Krispy Kreme donuts like the, all the fitness influencers, you could have made it. Okay? Yeah, bro. Krispy Kreme. I can stay in shape while eating Krispy Kreme. Stop jumping. Stop it. Stop doing it. Not appropriate. No, I should have just used the primary point. I could have saved exactly four hundredths of a second. Yeah, when I get to the vent. In the, the secret vent, yep. <laughs> oh. I'm thinking about that clip. <laughs> Dane! Dane, hang on, wait. <laughs> so good. So good. like Homer Simpson yeah it's um if anyone's got the link let me know and I'll uh get you permitted you should post the link to that clip it's fucking great okay okay God, bro, like, please, man, what the fuck? Fucking stupid fucking video game. There you go, guys. There's there is the clip. Thank you, Tolshade. Thank you, Rich. Teamworks make the dream work. Um, yeah, go and watch that clip. It's really funny. And there's a very uh, happy man uh, enjoying himself. Quite a great deal. I should make it a sound redeem or something on his channel, but he, like he should. He should make it a fifty thousand channel point redemption, and then people have to pick between blue knees or that. You know.
Dude, why? <sighs> what? Dude, fuck off. I need to get a little bit more uh, serious about making sure all these into dead because that was embarrassing. <laughs> I need to leave. <laughs> was it the, uh, it was probably like the, the, the jump to skip the combat at the, like right before the end of the level. That's what I'm guessing anyway. What's the record on this? Uh, the world record on this is um, an, an hour 40, uh, 12, I want to say, but I'm not sure about the seconds. But it's an hour 40. It's cracked. Like the, the you got to watch, you got to watch the world records in this. They're insane. Like those guys are just immensely talented. Their movement is just whew, really, really, really good on a different level. I don't know why I'm struggling so much to get a good wall boost there. It's, there's just something about that that particular wall. Bro, guys, can anyone see bro? Oh, where is bro? There he is. <laughs> bro, if you just copy the world record and do everything exactly the same, you will get the world record. Oh, yeah, you're not wrong. Oi. Yeah, All right, well, at least I didn't lose any time. <laughs> Please, that's funny, mate. Uh, hey, Richard, is there a record for speedrunning with the story, which means not skipping the story? Um, not really. There's no category for that, but um, like uh, I am certainly partial to doing playthroughs like that. Like I don't mind doing that. I haven't done one in a really, really long time, but I, I do enjoy them. All right, I've got to take a get a drink after this because. Oof. really good when you get a early access to a game as a content creator because you can do exactly exactly that all right so i'm just going to drop the frame rate down to 100 here because that's going to force this imp to jump down okay bang straight back up to 250 look up look up there we go You guys remember when Resident Evil Village came out and uh, Shirako made that video of Lady D wearing um, like lacy lingerie and that video got millions of views within like a couple of days. Fuck that made me laugh. That was funny to me. Excuse me. No, man, how is this guy alive? And I don't even know where he is. Oh my God, this game is so cringe. How are you alive, bro? I just fucking shot. I wasted an entire rocket on this fucking guy. Oh, this game. I just don't understand it sometimes, guys. I just do not understand this game. Like, I really don't, just don't get it. Right? Like... Son of a bitch! <laughs> okay. The pinky went into glory kill, so I shot a rocket at his tail. And he somehow lived through that. 
Fuck this game. Take it easy, YouTube. I'm gonna turn off the YouTube stream. See you later, guys. I'm gonna do something.